Hey guys, this is Oracle Daphne. Uh, my name is Beth. I am back for your October 30th, 2014 uh, tarot horoscope. Um, and it's just after 10 here in Virginia. I live on the East Coast here in Virginia. And um, I, I just wanted to say, you know, one of the reasons I'm actually doing this one tonight is because I got a really sweet message in my Twitter uh, message box um, from one of you guys that was just so encouraging that I thought to myself, I have to, um, I just absolutely have to do a video tonight, even though tonight I am quite, um, I don't seem like it, but I, I feel like it depleted. Um, <laughs> I have, I have, um, had quite a day and am very, very, very tired. Um, but I somehow, some way <laughs> find enough juice left, uh, to, and the drive to get through another reading. But I'm happy to do this because I really love, I love readings. I love giving readings. I love having readings done. Um, I just feel but, but I mean, mainly right now, I mean, I'm doing this for you guys that are so supportive of me, that share so much love and, and so much kindness. And, um, I'm doing this for you. You know, I mean, I love, you know, I love what I have to offer for you guys. And, um, and yeah, so special thank you tonight, um, to everyone. And so this is for everyone, for their, everyone... For all signs, um, this is my daily horoscope for October 30th, 2014. Right off the top, we got the chariot. Um, chariot on fire. This is the girl who, um, this is the girl who's successful. This is success. Um, this is swift news too. It's it's a girl who's riding her chariot and she's got two unicorns. It's interesting because somebody had messaged me about how typically this is a cancer woman, but I had explained on my main page that this woman um could also be the water bearer, okay? Because she's in my mind an Aquarius woman. Uh, in this magical kingdom ha lives in a water has like a water water world and um, she rules a very watery kingdom because she's the water bearer and of course she has all kinds of magical uh, underwater creatures and ocean creatures and she's the the world she rules is kind of surrounded by lakes and rivers and streams and oceans and um, she has these two unicorns to help her get around and she rules everything. And, and it's like, she's holding her arms out. She's like saying, and, 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 and she, see, cause the thing is, is there's a lot of air elements in this picture too. You've got the castle, you've got the castle here in the sky. And you've also got like all this air and her, like the, the wind is in her hair and she's just, you can tell she's traveling at some speed. And, you know, I also think that this could also be a Scorpio woman because she's wearing armor and because all of my armored characters in, in, in the Oracle Daphne show <laughs> in this deck, uh, in my mind, um, that uh, anybody that wears armor is either a Cancer or a Scorpio. This could also be any one of the air signs because there's, there's a lot of air elements. Um, but you know what? The main thing, oh, and it could be a Taurus, too, because there's turtles in the bottom here. See? See? You know, I don't know. And, and the thing is, is I, to I told this um, person who had messaged me, I said, this could ultimately mean anyone. Because depending on the reading and depending on what I see, I could apply it to any one of the signs. So that's why, um, that's my explanation of this card. And that's kind of how I think about the cards in general. The cards for me, my cards 
make me think of certain things. It's different than just knowing what the book says and knowing what the book meaning is because I don't really go by that. I go by what it means for me and it, what it, how I can apply it to others. Um, so back to what I was saying. So the, the interesting thing is that this is good news. This is really positive um, news that either comes via email, text, or cell phone. Um, could also come through the regular snail mail. This is like getting a package. This is like ordering a package and it, it coming faster than you're expecting. By the way, guys, I made chicken soup with one of those scotch bonnet peppers. Oh my gosh, this soup, just so you know, is fiery. It's wild. And it's kind of hard to eat a little bit because it's so, so spicy, it's hot. It's fierce. But I need this fierceness to get me through because I've had a wild week. And, um, yeah, it, it's just been a very busy, but awesome week. Um, so it's the same soup that I, soup recipe I was telling you guys about, only I added a scotch bonnet, uh, chili pepper. And, um, and this time it was just the chili pepper. I browned the chili pepper, the garlic the ginger together with some onion. I kind of made it all them all soft. Um, yeah, that, that's my, that's my soups side note. <laughs> um, interesting thing. Yeah. Okay. So good news coming to you. Um, you know, I always say this is like the one sports card that I have in the deck. So I guess I'm going to throw you guys a bone. If you're watching this and you're into sports, I'm throwing you a bone because this is the only card where I actually mention sports. And it's not that I'm not into sports. It's just that I feel like in America, it's a total obsession. It's kind of crazy. It's got it gotten out of hand. Okay, a little bit. I'm one of those people that cannot remember sports statistics to save her life. If you tell me, like, you know, someone scored 10 and someone scored 2, I'll forget it. Literally, like, the minute after you told me. And the weird thing is, is I'm good at, I do, I am pretty good at numbers and, um, and algebra. I don't know. It's, it's weird. It's just that sports statistics don't stick for some reason. Okay, so you're going, okay, so you're like, all right, I want you to tell me what's going to happen. Well, what's going to happen is sports, in sports specifically, okay, if you're playing any sports this day, chances are you're going to win, okay? Chances are this is going to be a score for you, okay? You may score, you may not win the full game, you may like to score personally. Um... You may actually get laid, too. <laughs> Just thinking about the score, guys. <laughs> Throwing you guys a bone. <laughs> I try to, every now and then, you know, I have a lot of male, I do have a lot of male subscribers, so I'm going to throw, throw you guys a bone. Um, this is, this is like definite success. So if you have an interview, this, more likely than not, you'll get the job. Okay, it may not come for a few weeks, maybe you may not start for a few months, or maybe some delay, but this is also good because the energy during the retrograde sucked. It really sucked. And now I feel like the energy is really changing and things are really starting to speed back up, uh, which is really good. So I feel like time is going to be moving really quickly on this day. It's going to be like one of those things where you just like you don't even watch the clock and you're trying to get all your stuff done and suddenly it's like five o'clock and it's going to be awesome because for those of us who have day jobs, <laughs> you know, and those of us who count, count the hours from two to five, you know who you are, then this is going to be one of those great days where you're not actually watching the clock. Um... Cancers specifically, 
I feel like you, I feel like you hold the potential. You have potential. Um, that's what the message is in this card. There's potential. Maybe it's the potential for success um, that you're not tapping into. You have a lot of potential. And I kind of feel like you're not doing much with it. And it sounds kind of accurate to me because cancers can get really lost in a daydream. Whatever they're going through, um, it's bad when relationships go bad because they just get so caught up in it and they get so dragged down by it and the negativity that it's just, it's never, it's not good for cancers um, at all. Um, they need to have like positive relationships. It's really hard um, when things just don't, you know, go their way. Um, <sighs> Tauruses, I feel like the message here for you is you guys don't, you're trying to get your head above water. And it's weird because this turtle is like talking to me, but you're trying to get your head above water and you can't quite, you're not quite there. You know, I think financially, you're really, really struggling. You've been treading water for a long, long time. And you've been trying to get, a, like, on top of it. But it's just sort of like you can't quite get to the point. You know, it's been really interesting because it's like, for a while, like, I didn't watch my bank account. And, I mean, I, I always plan, but then I stopped kind of watching because I kind of knew what it was, like, going to be. Just, I did it in my head. And then there was a point in which, like, I couldn't get... I couldn't have above a certain amount. And that's what it's making me think of. It's sort of like, it's sort of like you get, you've gotten to this point. It's almost sort of like when you, when you're trying to lose weight and you get to that point where you plateau, you, you, you can't lose any more and you, you need to do something drastically different to try to lose those last five pounds that you want. What's well, kind of like financially, you're trying to get your head above water and it's just like, you know, you're just not, not quite there. Not quite. You're, you're, you're so close. It's like, and the same thing as Taurus is you're going to get there. Okay. That's the message for you, Taurus. It's very important that you know this. Um, I feel like, because you guys need a boost of confidence because I feel like you're kind of ground down in a way. Like you're trying to get there, but you just can't quite do it for some reason. It's just maybe some unexpected things happen and it's just, you feel like, when am I going to catch a break? When am I going to be able to get to such and such an amount? And the thing is, you know, I'm not saying to stop saving because Americans really, especially if you're in America, I have a lot of international clients, but especially for Americans, um, you guys need to save. It's really important. I'm not saying for tourists, but America's Americans in general, we just typically aren't the big savers. We're big spenders. Um, so I'm not saying tourists to go out and spend a ton, but I want you to think differently about your finances and just start not caring as much as you do. I'm saying continue to save, but focus your energy on something else. Focus more energy on playtime because tourists need to have fun. Focus your energy on, um, what you have green, what the green in your life is very important right now. You need to have more green in your life, whether it's green vegetables or whether it's green plants around you or whether it's literally, it's like you need to have more green in order to have the green money flowing in. So you need to do more green, uh, cancers, you need to get more sun and you need to wear more yellow. You know, yellow is like your needs to be a color. You need to also eat more fruits and vegetables that are yellow. So like lemons, bananas, some melons, some mangoes, citrus fruits, I'm thinking for you very much. So you're, you're really lacking in vitamin uh, C. And there's also, there's vitamin C powder that I like that I put into smoothies and stuff. All you need is like a little pinch any more than that, it's going to be way too much. And the weird thing is, is those emergency things, I'm not really totally into. I used to be, but then when I bought my own vitamin C, I just felt like it was more potent. And you can get the vi just natural vitamin C powder. And you should be taking that like every single day, for cancers especially. Because I feel like cancers just get so worn down emotionally and otherwise that they're just not physically 
they're not physically healthy. And the problem is, is they don't, because they're emotionally worn down, they don't take care of themselves. And so it's a vicious cycle of them not taking care of themselves, them getting emotionally upset or getting sidetracked by some emotional incident. And then suddenly they're even worse than when they started. So it's just, it's just not a good cycle. Air sign. You guys are thinking about the castle in the sky. You're thinking about, you have big dreams. That's what it is. You have really big dreams. Um, you dream of prosperity and luxury and wealth and money. Um, but also some of you may be thinking about buying a house or property. Um... You need to realize you just need to go for it. You just need to go for, you know, I feel like you need to listen to the wind. You need to let your hair down a little bit. Let your hair flow in the wind, you know, like this character is doing here. You know, feel, you need to feel confidence. You need to feel confident. Um, and if it, if it means doing something for your appearance, you know, do it. Um, as long as it doesn't really break the bank. You know, go get some new clothes. Go get your hair done. Go get some new makeup. Whatever it is that you air signs need to, need to do. And air signs meaning Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. And Libras have a natural obsession with their hair anyways. So Libras are probably like, yeah, I do my hair every day. <laughs> some of you guys do. Uh, Geminis probably need a little bit of a tune-up with their appearance. They always kind of need a little tune-up here and there. Um, but then again, that's b balance. You know, again, they're similar to Libras in the sense that they have imbalance in the way they do things because they have two people that they have to satisfy in their personality. You know, the, the light side and then there's the dark side. And you, always, all got, you all know the light side is like an angel. The dark side is like Darth Vader. And that's how it is. Um, Aquarius. Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. So originally, I think of myself in this, I used to have blonde, more blonde hair when I was younger. So I think of myself. And I think Aquarians in general are very confident. And you need to pretend, Aquarius, that you are the ruler of this magical kingdom or you're the ruler of the world. Okay, think bigger. Think really big. Um... And you can have whatever you want. You need to manifest all that it is that you want. You need to write it down, draw a picture, put it up somewhere, okay? Uh, because you can have it all. You just need to manifest what it is that you want, and you will receive it. Um, and you also need to remember, like, you rule this kingdom. And this is the age of Aquarius. So... Because you roll, you need to act like it. You need to think, okay, you know, I'm gonna, you need to be assertive in what it is that you want. Be nice about it, but be assertive. And I'm not saying be aggressive. I'm saying be assertive and, and don't settle for less. Because typically Aquarians think things through really well. And Aquarians are right a lot of the time. And the reason they're right is because they've looked at things from a different perspective, from a different angle. Um, I feel like this is a really great day for Aquarius. Aquarius is, this is your day, okay? This is your day to shine. Not saying that the other signs, you know, you guys all matter. But um, Aquarius, something good, is something really good is going to happen on this day, I feel. Uh, and if it does, definitely message me. I'd love to hear about you know, the positive, thing, positive things that are going on. Um, which brings me to the other water signs. We already talked about Cancer a little bit. We're talking about Scorpio and Pisces. I feel there's going to be a little bit of rocky, rocky water. Okay, some kind of emotional stuff going on with you guys. Um, the waters are a little bit turbulent and... You just may be feeling kind of more bitchy or more emotional than normal, okay? Highs and lows, okay? So watch your highs and lows. Watch your diet, okay? On this day, 
What's your diet? Try to have more snacks. Have a midday snack, have an afternoon snack. Keep an apple in your car, some nuts in your car for the drive home, okay? So you guys, you guys don't snack enough, especially Scorpios. Scorpios do not snack enough. Pisces, don't get me started on Pisces. Pisces, their diet is just like one meal, if they're lucky, because they're not thinking in reality, okay? They're not thinking ahead. They're not planning. They have no structure whatsoever. So you need, you guys need to get on a plan to have regular meals. But for Scorpios, you need to focus in more on your meals because your energy gets drained by all the things you get distracted on. You guys get really distracted and you get totally into your, whatever it is that you're doing. You get so absorbed that you guys don't eat right. You guys don't sleep right and you guys just don't. And this is cancer too. Um, you just just really aren't paying enough attention. And you know, I was telling someone earlier, to, you know, in one of my readings, that it's really important, especially for water signs, to really take care of themselves. Like I was saying for the cancer, same with the Scorpio, same with the Pisces. Take care of yourself. The reason I say this is because if you're having highs and lows with your blood sugar, or just you know, you've only eaten one meal, okay? And then you come home and you're starving. The reason you're starving is because you've only had one meal and your blood sugar is tanking. Well, at the moment that you crash, it's typically a moment where somebody come up to you and say something snappy. And then guess what happens? Off with their head to the guillotine, you know? And you freak out. And you're more prone than anybody else in the Zodiac to having these moments of lashing out, of getting really upset, throwing a temper tantrum, having a fit, whatever you want to call it, because, you know, our emotions, when our blood sugar crashes, our emotions just run kind of wild. We don't have as much control over them. And I'm not saying that you need to be control freak about your emotions. I'm not saying that because Scorpios especially try to control every aspect of their life, including their emotions, but it's impossible to control everything. So you just have to go with the flow Anything that happens, especially at work today, water signs, even for everybody else, anything that happens at work today, just roll with it. Just let it kind of settle down. You know, if there's any waves, anything, in, you know, mildly intense, just wait it out. Go with it, okay? But for everybody in general, I feel like you guys are going to have a really great day. This is an awesome day. Awesome, awesome, awesome. This is absolute success. This is also, like, it's also like if you won something, like, the night before. This would be, like, the, tonight. I'm recording this on the 29th, so it's like if you had won something on the 29th, this would be a celebration time. This is time to celebrate. This is, this is a great day to say, I, you know, I am grateful for everything in my life. You know, I am grateful for the sun, moon, and the stars, whatever it is. I'm grateful for my car. I'm grateful for my apartment. Um, this is just, it's just really good, really, really good energy. Because everything that you say and you do on this day, it's like, it's a magical day. Think about it. You can do anything. This is winning. This is winning, guys. Now, I always say that I'm not liable for any gambling, okay? I'm not liable for any of that stuff. If you guys go and you gamble, it's on you. It has not, I have nothing to do with it, okay? I'm telling you, this is the energy. This is the card. You know, you're meant to watch this for some reason, unbeknownst to, to the rest of the world, but you're, you're supposed to watch this for, you know, there's a reason you're watching this. That's basically what I'm trying to say. I didn't talk too much about the earth signs. And the funny thing is I don't see I don't see the Capricorn or the Virgo in this. Um although the news, I feel like for you guys it's the news. It's the good news. So Capricorn and Virgo, you're just gonna be getting good news. It could be good news from an Aquarius, it could be good news from a Scorpio, it could be good news from a Cancer, Taurus, Pisces, Gemini. I feel like a lot of you are actually going to be watching this video, which is awesome. So I'm kind of, 
I know I'm not being very specific, but um, this is just my, this is just what I'm going with. So, I feel like somebody's a poet. Somebody is really into poetry that's watching this. If you're a poet, message me. I'd love to um, read some of your stuff. Or um, just, you know, shout, shout me out on uh, Twitter or something. I'm at Oracle Daphne on Twitter. So, so definitely do that. I think that would be really fun. Um, this is, goes back to that poem that I, that I like. The Lady of Shalott. The Lady of Shalott. Four white... I'm not sure if it's four white horses. Four white towers. I have to look this up now. This is going to drive me crazy. I'm not going to do it now. I'm going to do it later. But I just... I feel like there's a poet. There's a, there's a poem in my head. Um... I guess the other the thing is the other thing that's coming to me. The last thing I guess I'll say is that, and I know this is like a long video, but these unicorns are two out of many. Because in a magical world, the rest of the herd is back at home. I feel like you're doing your own thing on this day, but also if there's a whole herd of unicorns at home or back in this girl's closet somewhere. She has unmatched, untapped magical capabilities. You may be a psychic that's watching this, but you have untapped magical gifts. You need to read more on magic. You need to read more on, like, even fairy tales. Um, you need to believe in your abilities and your gifts. Um, I've had a lot of clients recently. They have a lot of psychic gifts. If you have psychic gifts, it's time to get a deck of tarot cards. There's a website called A, e a Eclectic Tarot, I think. Uh, I'll have to post that where you can you can check out all the different decks. Um, you guys just need to research it. You know, find a different deck. If you're using a, a certain deck and you're not feeling it, you know, check the, check out that website because it's going to have a whole bunch of different decks on there, which I think you'd really love. I was also mentioning, too, earlier this evening that um, if you're, you know, when you read, when I do it at night, when I read tarot at night, it's very, very calming for me, and it calms my mind. Um, if you're one of those warriors and you worry a lot, and you have psychic ability, it's time for you to get a deck. Because it's going to help you organize your thoughts. And really no question is off limits. When you're, you know, alone by yourself, you can ask the weirdest, the craziest question. And you can ask the question a hundred million times. So I feel like you're going to look at a lot of satisfaction by getting your own deck. Um, the other thing is this is fast. This is stuff that's happening really fast. This is swift. Um, so it's just going to be like, there's going to be this message, like something, somebody may actually come into your life and then go, go out of your life really quickly. You may meet somebody really fast and you may, you may have to say goodbye to somebody really fast. Or maybe you have a deadline that's really quickly approaching. Like there's something that's, that's coming and you can feel it and you're trying to get like everything done to re to meet, to meet this deadline. Um, but you're going to do it because you have the unicorns, because you have this magical, capable ability to get it done and to do it in a magical way. And just, if there's any bumps in the road, the message is to ride them out. Just ride it out. Because you've got the unicorns, you've got your castle in the sky, which you're planning on, and you're manifesting. And then, um... You're in touch with the heaven and the and the, and the ocean, you, you heaven and the earth. You you are a medium, and so it's like you you just need to know that you'll win. You just need to know that you'll be successful. And winning is not impor as important as being successful, and they're different. Winning is about keeping score, but life doesn't keep score. We humans created the scorecard. 
just for our own amusement. And that's all. You know, people that get really into sports and go crazy and they scream and they paint, they paint their faces or whatever, they are under the assumption that it really, really matters. But in the end, all that matters is love. That's it. That's what it's all about. All that matters is joy and finding your joy and doing things that you love. And be and, and being here for your soul's purpose and and um, just embracing embracing the challenges that you've been given and going through the, the lessons in life with as much grace and uh, as po and humor as possible. Um, and on that note. <laughs> this has been a long video on that note I am going to say goodnight to you guys you lovely followers and subscribers thank you so much for everything if you want a private reading feel free to email me at elizabetholson31 at gmail.com you guys are awesome and I will talk to you soon sending you big hugs big kisses take care have a good night